Hello and welcome to this section of the Trig and Precalculus Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to work on learning how to solve trigonometric equations. And what I mean by that is an equation with an equal sign in there that involves a trig function. And almost always when you're solving trig uh, equations, you're trying to find the angles that make the equation true. So you may have a sine in there, you may have a cosine in there, you may have a tangent in there, and it's equal to something. And you need to find the angles that make it true. But don't forget that since the unit circle kind of repeats, if you're going to keep going around and around and around and around, there's more than one angle that can satisfy most of these equations. So if you get an angle that like pi over 4 might work, right, to make the equation true, right, whatever the equation is, maybe pi over 4 is the angle that actually satisfies it. If you go around another 2 pi radians, back to pi over 4 again, but you know 2 pi more around, well that angle works too. And 2 pi more radians works too. 2 pi, two pi more and 2 pi more and 2 pi, if, it, if you're coming back to the same spot. So when you're solving the trig uh, equations, you need to kind of use the unit circle to figure out what the answer is and then also think about, okay, if I lap the unit circle, am I going to get the same answer again? And you need to kind of formulate that in your answer also. So it's a little bit different than an algebra equation. Algebra equation, you have rigid rules. You've got x plus 3 is equal to 4. Subtract 3. Or maybe sometimes you have to divide. Maybe sometimes you have to multiply. And you will get an answer by logic, logic, logic each step. Trig equations, you're going to be doing some manipulations, but you're going to have to think about the unit circle and thinking about what angles satisfy that guy. So it's a little bit more of a thinking process than it is a mechanical logic process. But you'll find out that with practice, just like anything, it gets pretty easy. You just have to be make, make sure that you master the concept and practice your own problem. So here, let's do 2 times cosine of some angle t we're using in this case, plus 1 is equal to 0. This is a trig equation, right? The only variable here is the t, which is an angle, right? So what I'm trying to do, I know that if I put different angles in here, 2 times cosine of something, 2 times cosine of something else, 2 times cosine of something else, and I add 1, eventually I'm going to get an angle where if I multiply 2 times the cosine of the angle and add 1 to the answer, I'm going to get 0. I know there's some magic angle there. My job is to figure out what angle that is. And, so, and most of the time, there's actually more than one angle that satisfies it because the cosine and the sine functions are cir circular functions. They, you know, you, you know how the unit circle works. It goes around and around. So a lot of times, there's more than one answer. But just like any other equation, you take it one step at a time. I want to solve for this angle. So first step, get rid of the negative 1. So I have 2 times cosine of t is equal to negative 1. I just move it to the right-hand side. The next thing I do is I divide by 2 because I'm trying to get t by itself. Cosine of t is equal to negative 1 half. So far, it's behaving very, very much like a regular old algebraic equation. So if you're trying to solve for t, manipulate, get everything over to the other side. Now you're confronted with this cosine. You can't, I mean, obviously divide by cosine. You can't just get rid of cosine like you can anything else because it's not multiplied. Cosine is a function. The angle is in here wrapped up inside of it. You can't just cancel or get rid of the cosine. At this stage of the game, with all of these trig equations, you need to look at what you have, draw a little sketch of a unit circle, which it sounds complicated, but I'll show you how to do it just quickly in a second. And you need to think about the sine, the cosine, the tangent functions, and, and, and how you calculate in your head what, you know, how to calculate those guys. So you should have all watched my Trig and Precalculus Volume 1. In there, there's a lot of practice with the unit circle and sine and cosine and tangent. 